Money ain't a thing if I got it. Got it. Money ain't a thing if I got it. Money, money, money. Before the money, there was love. But before the money, it was tough. They came the money through. So pretty much growing in the bay, growing up in the bay, it's pretty. It's pretty different from what you see in SoCal. Everything from language to scenery and just the way of people acting. I mean, for one instance, just the word hella. No, nobody says hella down here. So it, that's just kind of interesting to look and see like what kind of discourse I'm from and how things change when you come to Los Angeles. As for growing up, just I live with both my parents, but they were divorced, so I really never got to see them together. And I feel like that shaped me to who I am today, just to be stronger. And just everything from moving house to house with my parents and all that. I still have like a really good relationship with them. But it, it was just hard not seeing them together growing up. So it almost like built up anger inside me. I have four siblings. It's my little brother Jordan. And I, I have a really close relationship with him. All my siblings are half. I have uh, two sisters and two brothers, two older, two younger. So pretty much, I don't really talk to my older brother because he lives somewhere else, really, and I never had a really good relationship with him. And then I talk to my older sister a lot, Jamie, and then I have a really close relationship with both my little brother and sister, Jordan and Carly. Football's always played a huge role in my life. I've been playing football ever since I was 10. Just building relationships with people and just overcoming a lot of adversity. Uh, my senior year of high school, I broke my collarbone, and that really taught me to just not put all your eggs in one basket, you know, just to always have a backup plan just in case because I was always set on playing football and doing big things and all that. I mean, I still am doing big things, but at the same time, it's just, you know, you have to learn that time. You need to get an education and better yourself for the future. So, yeah, football is just, it means a lot to me. And hopefully I can keep playing it even after college. So, yeah. 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 <laughs> championship ever and then the first year I come here we did at Laverne so yeah that, that was pretty that was pretty exciting. School wise I went to Hidden Valley Elementary. I always lived out of the school district and then I went to Valley View Middle School and that was in Pleasant Hill and then I went to Alhambra High School and that was in Martinez and that's about like a, all those schools are about a 20 minute drive so I was always just looking for like the really the best education I could get and my dad made sure I always had that. And then coming to Laverne, that was, that was, I mean, that was my choice to come here. Like, I really just felt at home here. And then that's going to shape me for the future. Something I found kind of interesting just about traffic in general is that SoCal traffic is way worse in the Bay Area. And people tend to drive, like, more like idiots down here. I don't know what it is, but it's, it's just kind of funny to look at how um, different, like, driving styles are because you pretty much have to drive crazy in SoCal or else you get like in an accident like everybody drives like that so you kind of have to adapt to that. People that have a really big influence on me are just my friends. I mean I grew up in a really small town so I mean everybody knows everybody and it's just been it's been really cool to just have like the same friends for a while you know so everybody just knows everybody and like it's always like a really good time. Everybody's always having fun together. And everybody knows each other's parents. Everybody knows everybody. So it's just a really close, tight-knit family kind of thing. And I feel like that just shaped a lot. And it's it's just never a dull moment with anybody. Like this right here. Just like crab at the beach on a football. Like I don't even know what he's doing. But everybody's just having fun. So it's always a good time. I'm not really religious or anything. Like I don't believe in religion. But I've always had a pretty strong relationship with God, and I feel that this has just helped me a lot with just overcoming adversity and just being able to face a lot of problems that I necessarily couldn't. 
I have two tattoos, Bless and then uh, Nigu, stands for Never Ever Give Up. And pretty much every time I look at those, it just reminds me of the hard times I've been through and how far I've come. In all, I feel that I'm just really blessed to be able to live the life that I do and just all the um, opportunities that I've been given. And I just, I'm really thankful for everything. So yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty much about it.